Hi, I'm Laura Halford and this is my Will gymnastic jump? scrapbook. Right, let's have a look. I think this is one of my first ever competitions. I do really remember the competition, I just... But I can remember the leotard. I was so excited to get a proper leotard like all the big girls for... Okay, I remember this competition. It was an international in, in Estonia. I used to think this routine was really hard, but watching it back, it's not very hard at all, really, is it? <laughs> I was so small there, but I absolutely loved this routine. It was one of my favorites when I was little. I loved performing it. And I think I actually got into the final in this routine, so that was a really big deal for me, an international competition. So, yeah, I have good memories of this routine. Oh, gosh. This is another not very flattering picture. <laughs> and I remember getting this leotard and my mum stuck every single diamond on one by one and it took hours. But when I got a bit older, I paid to have someone stick them on because my mum after when I got junior was like, you're sawing this out yourself. Oh my goodness, another picture. Look at my face. <laughs> I mean, the actual position I'm doing is quite nice, but then my face completely ruins the whole picture. Oh, I don't even need to watch this routine. I know it's horrendous. 2008, that was 11 years ago. So I would have been, what year is it? 20, I can't think. 12, I would have been 12. Oh, that was a nice pirouette. But my hoop looks a oh the oh no. <laughs> but the hoop looks about ten sizes too big for me there. Oh I don't think I can watch this, that's awful. Well I definitely think I improved as I went got a bit older because this is not very good at all really. When I was twelve, I think that's when I started it was more, it was starting to get a bit more serious. I mean, I took it seriously the whole time, but 12 is when you start getting more competitions and, you know, you're about to turn junior, so it becomes more of a big deal, more important parts of your life. This was the British Championships 2013, so it was my first competition as a senior, I think. I had a Bulgarian choreographer at the time at my home club and she gave me this Bulgarian theme to music and I remember we spent ages looking for like a traditional Bulgarian dress on the internet, me and my mum, and then we sent it to the designer and I think it came out pretty well. This was the first year that I won senior and I didn't expect it because my teammate Pranky was competing and you know, I looked up to her and I, I just went there to enjoy it that year, I think. There wasn't as much pressure. From here till the next year, I think I improved a lot because watching this now, it's nice to watch it back and see how far you've come. So this was maybe 2014 or 2015, one of my senior titles. I can remember this picture. I had a really um, difficult competition but I managed to pull it out in the end, but I remember it was tough to get this title, so it was a proud moment for me. I think it got harder as the years gone on to keep me, uh, regaining the title, but yeah, it was the start of a really good journey. Okay, so this is my hoop routine from, um, from last year's British 2018, my last one. I kind of knew before going into it that this would be my last one. I hadn't fully decided by then that I was going to finish, but you know, it was in the back of my mind. Uh, I wasn't really 100% ready for this competition, but again, I managed to come out on top again. And my hoop, this hoop routine was one of my favourite routines I've ever had. Again, the music was quite different to what I've had before, but I really loved the routine and I felt most confident with Hoop. Hoop was probably my favourite piece to compete with, so yeah, I really enjoyed performing this routine. <laughs> this is a picture of me and my family at Christmas. We have all changed so much. But yeah, I wouldn't have been able to get here without the support of my family. They've been so supportive, even for when I was a little girl, just seven years old, taking me to and from the gym, you know, taking me to competitions. Um, Welsh squad camps, British squad camps, like if I didn't have had wouldn't have had their support, 
I never would have made it where I was, so I'm really grateful that they were so supportive of me throughout my whole career. Oh, this picture is so cute. It brings back really good memories from Glasgow. This is me and my teammate Frankie at Commonwealth Games. And I, that competition was just the best thing that ever happened to me. I remember I went in with absolutely no expectations. Even my coaches were saying like, you know, go out there, do your best. We, uh, we just want you to enjoy this one and have the best time. And then I ended up coming out of it with three medals. And to be able to share the experience with Frankie, she was on the podium with me as well. And, you know, after that, her winning six medals, just an amazing achievement. And she's someone that I've always looked up to. <laughs> I remember uh, this is me and Tom Daly at the closing ceremony. Um, uh, we were stood with all Team Wales and I spotted him and I was like, oh my gosh, that's Tom Daly. And I remember Tracy, the Welsh artistic coach, like marched over to him and was like, could you have a picture with you? <laughs> so yeah, I got a picture with Tom Daly, pretty cool. This, is, this picture's from um, Gold Coast, this Commonwealth Games. So I got silver in the hoop final. I remember the lead up to this competition was so tough just because Glasgow had gone so well. So this time I did have expectations and I put a lot of pressure on myself. And so I tried to go into it just thinking, you've done all the training, you can't do any more, just enjoy it and whatever happens, happens. I remember I was just like, just one medal, I just want to get one medal. Um, so yeah, I was absolutely delighted to get the silver in hoop final, especially because hoop was my favourite, I felt most confident with it. And yeah, I was really happy with the routine I performed on the day. Uh, this picture is from my final World Championships in September of 2018. Uh, by this point, I knew it was my last competition. I'd discussed with my coach Nia and I decided about July, I think, that yeah, World was going to be my last one. So it was a really emotional trip. Um, I just went out there thinking, you know, just go out, enjoy it, take it all in, because it's the last one. This is my ribbon routine from that competition. And I remember the lead up to the competition, my ribbon was just going awful. It just, it wasn't going well at all. And I remember I did literally the best ribbon routine I ever done in my life. And I rang Nia, because she was at home. And she was like, wow, that score. And I was like, I know, I don't believe it myself. Because, yeah, normally ribbon is the lowest scoring piece. It's just harder to get as much difficulty in the routine. But I actually got the, my highest score on ribbon this competition, which was quite a surprise. Uh, this picture is from my graduation a few weeks ago. So I was doing sports science at Cardiff Met. And this year was actually pretty tough because the year of the Commonwealth 2018, I took a gap year. So this year I was coming back into uni, it was quite hard to get back into the swing of studying and all that, but I managed to end the year with a first, so I was really happy with that. <laughs> when I came up back from Commonwealth, you know, I'd done everything I wanted to in the sports, and training six hours, six hours plus every day is really hard, and you know, I was just happy with how far I've come, everything I've done, and. I was just, think I was ready to close that chapter and I have no regrets. Um, you know, I'm into coaching now and I absolutely love coaching and yeah, I love helping other girls try and get to where I got to. And I'm happy that I can still support my teammates, but from a different perspective. <laughs> so that was my gymnastics scrapbook. I hope you enjoyed looking through my career with me. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the British Gymnastics YouTube page.